Well, my friends, here we go again. Next day, next comparison versus video. Today, two rubber balls at the lovely playground court, you know. Here we are. If you don't know this court when you are new, this is called the playground court. Why? Because here is all to play, you know. On the board, there stands on fun court. And here we have to play, table tennis, to lay down. Here is all for little children beside and here is a kindergarten yeah and little school such things and they are always our kids on this court it can happen that in one second of they're coming in 40 50 kids or it can be quiet like now you never know that's why it's called playground court today comparison but the other comparison than normally why i will tell you sandston new this is this ball against the spalding platinum series the new version and this spoiling ball to me is the worst spoiling ball what I have ever had. You know, I tell always the truth. I like spoiling very, very much because I was growing up. That was the gold standard, but this ball is really, really bad. Today we check out, but I don't want to know the weight. I don't want to know the price. Of course I know it, but I will forget about those things only to play the balls. I will test it like give me two balls. I don't know nothing about them. Like Sensen doesn't say anything to me. Spoiling says doesn't say anything to me. I only got two balls and then in that imagination I will test them. And then I will say to me what was the winner, you know? Without knowing anything that I try in my head today. And then we will see, you know? <laughs> Someone was I thought he will say I have to go out. <laughs> that would be great now. So, and then we will see. And I tell you the truth, spoiling or sandston, you know, let's do it. So, with our sandston new, we start. We have played both balls a lot of times now. Both not the best rubber balls, yeah. But I will know how good the spoiling ball is against the sandston ball, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs>
So what I can tell you right now about the court today, always be careful because we have those wet little things in there, you know. And I slept out here a few times, so I'm very careful and I have the wrong shoes on today because I wanted to go to other court, but there it was full, you know. The kids have now in one, two weeks holidays and so they are always out now and I cannot film. So the two aggressive shoes, you know, these are Asics running shoes, you know, these are Goredex shoes, watch this. They are really, really aggressive and here you stop abrupt, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I have a feeling about the ball and we go on from that side and then we check out our spoiling ball, you know, the top spoiling ball from the behind side. Let's do it. So we go on with our Spalding Platinum series. I have a question there to you. I have asked this once but I've never got a response because I think there exists two different versions of this, you know. But I will say something at the end, you know. And I think I have really the bad new version, yeah. I have the old version but we'll come to this later, yeah. Now let's check it out.
No, knocked on. No, no. But watch, watch, watch. That was a clear knocked on. But I tell you again, the GoPro. Sorry, but I have to watch this. Has no scratching. I really GoPro. I told this a lot of times, you know. I think in my first video what I made in the mini golf, I told the GoPro, you know. I think was it in the first video, it felt above from a bicycle and exactly to the asphalt, you know. Last day it happened again, you know, at the quarter pipe, it was falling down and now that was a, a, a full thing. You know, it is broken as you see now in the plastic outside. But the lens, you know, we have here a, a fish eye, you know, this. that means it's not straight, it goes out and that, there is no scratching, poor. You know, with the Instacams there you have a big problem, you can put them away, but GoPro, you know, poor. Always again, you know, I'm a big, big GoPro lover because they work, you know, all what fits to me is perfect with the GoPro, you know. Very nice and I have the Max Lens mod on, you know. Not the normal, that I have to say, you know. I have always on the camera where I vlog the lens mod, the first version. That means you have an extra dual, a lens, because when you have only the GoPro, then you have a straight lens, you know. I have the lens mod with the fish eye out there, yeah. But nice, so we go on. But now we take the camera to other position, you know. We will play the other side now, yeah. Also a nice side, it's also here. It's a street baller because here we have the woods, you know, you don't see that much. It's more a darker area. And here we have low houses with a wide view to the mountains up there. You will not see that, maybe from the colors. And big scape, so both sides are nice, you know. And I uh, change it always. So let's do it. But I can tell you something, because now I was thinking back last year, we made here an update to the end one ball. I was driving, I think, two hours with bicycle by over 30 degrees, and then we landed here, and I played with the end one ball. And that was such a nice session, you know, the end one ball. Sometimes it's really, really a cool ball, yeah? Especially on rubber courts where you get no scratches. And that is nice, you know, but we go on.
airplane. So, spoiling Platinum Series. Now we check out which ball is the winner. But I have a question to you, you know, really, really, really. Because I have the old series, you know, and the old series is completely other ball. It has nothing to do with this ball. And the thing is, the old version, there was the NBA on, you know, when spoiling was still in the NBA. And the ball was made in Thailand. And this ball is made in Vietnam, you know. And now, I have seen pictures, but there starts the problem because on pictures you can put up the saturation, then a ball looks more orange and this and that, or when light comes to a ball, you know, the, the professionals put a light on the ball that it looks better and on and on. And some don't do it and then looks the ball really like a other ball. But the thing is, what I have seen and I've watched so exactly, this version looks the same. But the lines, I think there is a version what was before this version, yeah? Looked completely the same, but the lines were other. When you watch here, I don't know if you see it now, they are painted on, of course, but uh, they have no reflection, you know? You see like a black, really not well made, yeah? And by the other version, what I think, oh, helicopter. And by the version, what I think, there you see the reflection on the lines. Because on the old version, these were other lines, you know. They look like plastic lines, yeah, like real plastic lines. And this is only painted on. And the ball, what I have seen, where it reflects, that looked more like the old version with this new logo and that stuff. If someone has this ball, please watch out. I will go now on to the teal tails. Watch exactly what I mean. I'm so interested. You see, that looks really not good. This is this painted on, yeah? And by the version, what I mean, there is reflection, yeah? And I'm really, really interested. If you have this ball, watch out if your lines reflect, you know? That would really interest me, you know? I don't have the money I would buy because I've seen photos where that looks odd and I don't know if they have made something with Photoshop or a program or if this was really other Platinum series, because this was one of my lovely rubber balls, and this version, yeah, we will come to this, is really not good, yeah. But now, who is the winner? Let's do it. So, which ball is the winner? Sensed nor spoiling? We go a little bit to the balls. Tell you, this ball, when I had it first in my hand, I was a little bit impressed. But that was the first impression. And first impression you can never count. Because we have an expectation. Maybe good or not. And then you say, wow, you know. But this ball, really, what I can tell you, really, really sharp. Yeah, The babbling is really heavy sharp. Yeah, so. But to rotate the ball is not a good option. This is like if you make your nails, you know, really, really rough. The lines are a little bit slippery, yeah. But it has channels a bit, what is surprising. But they are also not good. You know, the rubber stands uh, above, where I have it, like here, yeah. Maybe you see it. But it is not that problem because this is not sharp, yeah. This is not the problem. But the lines, they are not good. You feel a little bit but not the rubbery thing, yeah. So the needle, yeah, it's good, it's inside, but a little rubber stands out. But yeah, for the price, <laughs> of course, you cannot expect too much, but yeah, for sure not a great rubber ball. So spoiling ball. To me, the baddest spoiling ball what exists, why? Because when you get that in your hand, and you have no spoiling, then you think, what is this? Is this a fake ball? Yeah. But I've seen this ball also in the shops, my version now. Yeah. But I think two years around ago, there was this other version with the better lines that was more like the old version. But I don't know. So you have seen it. The painting is absolutely not good, but painting does not infect anything. Yeah. But it's really ugly made. Really, really ugly. 
the needle is not good, the wolf stands out. The material, yeah, when you have this in your hand, I have to sit a little bit, not the best for the ball, but it protects my feet. So, the beveling, yeah, you see how roughed up this looks already, yeah. So the material, like a really cheap rubber material, so, phew, and you know, we said we like the price away, but I can tell you, buy every other ball, you know, like those two balls, when you have the option, when you have them, then you have to deal with it, you have to adjust to it, uh, collect your money and then spend it to the other ball. But the thing is here, the lines are really, really not good made and here stands the rubber also out, yeah, you see that, that you feel. This not on every side, here it is good, but where it stands out, this is like really a sharp thing, you may think, wow, what is that, what is that? You have seen it in the video. Really, really not nice. Yeah, and so, but we have to choose a winner. I have a winner. And I can tell you now. Doesn't matter to me which boy, but I will tell you. The winner is... Still the spoiling boy. But that does not mean uh, something good is really not a good boy. Yeah, but in, in overview, it feels a little bit better. More like a, a more quality basketball, but quality yeah, with this, you know, um, absolutely unimpressed. When you have to choose, then choose the street, spoiling street, not the street phantom, the street. Why? It's a little bit similar. When you have it in your hand, you feel oh, almost the same. But when you play it, the street is so much better than this version and it is cheaper, you know. Yeah, and so here we have it. Then we will see us next time, as always. Until then, bye and ciao.